One of the great truths of the gospel is not only have you and I, through our faith in Christ, been changed from our standing of being an enemy of God to the friend of God, but we've also been adopted into the family of God. Galatians chapter 4 speaks about this so clearly and so powerfully. Let me read to you, starting in verse 4. Paul writes this, But when the right time came, God sent his Son, born of a woman, subject to the law. God sent him to buy freedom for us who were slaves to the law so that he could adopt us as his very own children. And because we are his children, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, prompting us to call out, Abba, Father. Now you are no longer a slave, but God's own child. And since you are a child, God has made you his heir. There is so much powerful truth packed into these four verses, these three verses. But the simple truth that I want you to own today is this. Listen, you're one of the king's kids. You're his heir. God's got you. He's not against you. You belong to him. No matter what you navigate today, listen to me. You're still headed to heaven. God is still your, as this says, Your Abba. You say, what is that word? Is that an old band that my parents used to listen to? What what is Abba? The word there means he's my dad. He's daddy. You know, my wife and I have six children from age 12 to newborn. And some of our toddlers, some of our young ones, you know, they still use that phrase for me, daddy. And in the hearts of my little ones, I can see that there is no sense that dad isn't going to come through but that he's always there for me. And in the same way, I wanna encourage you today. Your heavenly father, your dad, Abba, as we learn here in Galatians chapter four, he's there for you. He can provide for you. He is your good father. So today, in whatever situation faces you, trust him, he loves you. You are his child.